So if you are looking forward to some of the Android apps which you can try out on your device with the help of Shizuku. Shizuku is one of the things which is available from some time now and you can install some amazing things which were not possible without root previously but it's been some time so you can try out some mods. First one is Shizuku Package Installer. For example, if you have a split APK file, which is APKS, APKM, so on, you usually install a SAI app or some other things. But with the help of this app, with the help of this one, you can install those apps directly on your device, which is so good. Another one in this list is Shapki. I shared this app on my other channel with you. So basically, if you wanna, if you want to increase battery backup on your device by simply for stopping all the apps in the background, this might be the thing. Quite simple interface, simply open the app, select the apps you don't want to run in the background, choose them, select and done. Very simple process but it is actually quite useful in many scenarios which you can go and explore. Next one in this list is HLU. For example, you do not have PC but you want to add, you want to apply some of the commands, ADB shell commands and you need an app for that. That will not work in Termux, by the way. So you can install this HLU app on a device. It already has a lot of commands. If you are into Android, if you want to install, if you want to try out some commands on a device without using PC, then this might be a very useful thing for you. And of course, it works without root. You just need Shizuku. You have the option to use with root also, but without Shizuku, it's good because we are talking about some apps which supports Shizuku. Another one which I shared with you some time ago that is uh, this is now Kanta and it is also updated. It's been a long time since the last I mean when I tried this app but it's updated to the latest Android version also. I mean it supports the latest Android version right now while making this video it even supports Android 16 so it's good. So for example if you have a lot of Android apps available especially even if you have installed a custom ROM, it has a lot of bloatware or so, or if your device is not rooted, you are using OnePlus, IQ, whatever you are using, you have a lot of pre-installed apps and you want to uninstall them, but you cannot because your device is not rooted. With the help of Shizuku, you can do so with the help of Kanta. It works good. Of course, it has minor disadvantages too, but it's quite okay because it works without root, so you can compromise with some of the things, which is absolutely fine. Another one in this list is Amarok and it is actually one of my favorite Android apps of a long time. How this works? You have the option to use with root, without root, Dizuku, so on, but we are going to use with Shizuku. What this does is, for example, if you want to hide some files, you can do so. If you want to hide some apps, you can do so. Many options are here and even you have the option to customize the things, how you want to hide those apps, how you want to hide those files, folders and many, many more things. You just have to install this app, grant Shizuku permission and explore the things, the options which this app is giving you. There are a lot of options available for you to customize, to configure and yes, this is one of my favorite apps even with the latest Android version or even in 2025. The next one in this list is related to Shizu tools. And by the way, in case if you are using Shizuku and if it is not working for you in the latest Android version, you do not have to install it from the Google Play Store because Play Store version is not working fine. You can install the APK which is given below so then it will work for you. And sometimes some apps does not give the Shizuku permission automatically so you have to grant them manually by moving into Shizuku app. So here comes some Shizu tools and this is actually quite underrated Android app out there. What this does is you have some options available. For example, you can deblot which means you have the option to uninstall the system apps like Kanta does. It also has this local shell so you can also choose this for running ADB commands and so on. Soundmaster and so on. There are a lot of apps, there are a lot of tools already available in this one app and this is actually so good. Next one I just tried first time and this is named as Setbox. Simply open, uh, I simply grant the Shizuku permission and go to repository. There are some options available. For example, wireless ADB. So you, can, you have the simple module to enable wireless ADB. I mean, this is a very basic thing. This is having a lot of tools. So just enable this thing, grant all the required permissions and done. And this is a basically set of tools, having a lot of tools available, which you can go and explore them. There are some other options available, which I will tell you later on. Maybe in the next video, a specific dedicated video on this app. If you need it, make sure to comment below. I will try to make a specific video on this Android app, what this does and how the things are working. But this supports Shizuku, so definitely you can go and explore that. Next one is we have this quick tile settings. So you have some options whenever you install this app for the first time. 
here are some options you have to click grant using shizuku and done there are also options available for adb and so on but it actually works so in this case after granting the permissions you have some options available this is basically i mean if you want private if you are using private dns and you want to control it directly from the quick setting tiles you have enabled the usb debugging you want to control control it from the quick setting tiles all these options are available directly with the help of this app and this also works without root just with the help of shizuku so yes this is also quite underrated if you install this app on your device you will get to know more about this one because this is actually so good Another one in this list is, of course, it's not been updated from some time, but it works still quite good. And I'm talking about LS Patch. And if you want to patch some Android apps, for example, if you want to integrate a module in an Android app, and yes, it actually works good. I tried with Snapchat, I tried with Instagram. It still works good, even with the latest Android version. Process might be changed for some of the apps. It might be different for some of the apps. It might be different, but it works good. I just made a video on my other channel also. while using ls post by while using ls patch without root of course you have the option to add chat gpt i mean keyboard gpt module directly in your keyboard and it works actually so good it has a lot of other options too which you can go and explore of course there are a lot of options available for you the next one in this list is install with options this is also one of the apps which might be useful how and why because it brings you many things For example, if you want to bypass a low target SDK, you can do so, which means the app is not compatible with your Android version. You can bypass that. You also have the option to allow the restricted permissions automatically. So whenever you install any Android app, if it is required, it is having some options for restricted permissions. You can grant those permissions automatically even before installing the app, and it has a lot of other options, a lot of other tweaks to which you can definitely go and explore. The next one in this list is task manager and the name tells you everything this is a task manager like you also have in windows and your pc so far this is almost similar to that so we have the option for these processes which are running in the background so we have a complete useful information available for that and it has few other theming options too which is kind of okay if you don't want to use it you can if you want to you can so yes these are the options these are the android apps available in this list and i guess and i hope you loved this video regarding top 10 plus shizuku supported android apps which are working with the latest and the version which are working in 2025 this is about really short and simple video i hope you like this video if you need more android apps like that if you more if you need more videos if you like this video if you need more videos like that make sure to comment below but for now this is it thanks for watching i hope you like this video make sure to drop a like and i will see you in the next one until then take care